Hello everybody, so because today is my birthday, for this reason in this video I will show you how to make some really really easy conductive dry ink. So some conductive dry ink is some ink which don't have any solvent and everything is in some dry form or better to say in some powder form. For example, here I have some base material for normal ink and here I have some mix of solvent and binder. Now I only need to put in is some active material. But like I said, this one is some dry ink and is without any solvent. So to get from this powder to something like this, you only need some heat and pressure. So in basic, some conductive dry ink is made from active material, in this case some conductive material and some plastic which will melt in the temperature range of 100 to 200 degrees C. And for this reason you have many conductive materials and plastic to make some conductive dry ink. But like I said before, uh, in this video I will show you how to make some really really easy dry ink at home and to make this powder you will need to make this and this is some conductive plastic which is made from acetone styrofoam and some graphite powder to see more details about this plastic the link will be in the description below so like i said the first step is to make this plastic and you need to be sure that this plastic is entirely dry. Then this plastic you need to crush to small pieces like so. Like so. And to get this really really fine powder form you also need to use some coffee grinder. Here I have my coffee grinder. Really nice. And now of making something like this, you only need some temperature and some pressure. For the temperature, I will use this iron. And this one is, I mean, have the temperature of around 100 degrees C. So this part, I mean this process right now is really really easy because here I use some baking paper. The baking paper is really useful that this material will not stick to iron. And now you need to press really really hard down because more you press more conductive will be the end product. So the right temperature and the pressure is really really important to get really good conductivity. Okay, that's it. You 
This one is a little bit hot. Ah. And this is what you will get. And for the finish, let's check the conductivity of this product. <laughs> really, really nice. 4.5 ohms. Five ohms. Really nice. So guys, how to make some conductive dry ink really really easy at home. That's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.